Hello my dear students. Welcome to my English class. Today we'll do English revision 1. The topics are silver, the poem from your English reader book. Then we'll move on to singular and plural and then at the end we'll revise articles for class 4. So children, please pay attention, take out your copies and pencil, pen and get ready for the class. Please note everything down in your copy, okay? Now first of all, we'll revise the poem Silver written by Walter de la Mer. I hope you all remembered the poem. I'll give you a brief summary of the poem once again. In this poem, Silver, the poet Walter de la Mer describes the visible effects of moonlight on the countryside at night. As the moon works slowly and silently over the human settlements, below everything turns silver. The moon is found reflecting on the harvest mouse's claws, windows, trees, etc. In this poem, we can see that everything is turning silver by the moonlit. Now, we'll straight on move to our exercises, okay? I'll give you the questions and you will write the answers on your own. The answers are very easy. So, you have to write it by yourself, okay? Number one, here is a reference to context. Please copy it down with an inverted comma. This way and that, she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver trees. This way and that, she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver trees. Question number one. From where are the given lines taken? Question number one. From where are the given lines taken? I hope you all will be able to write the answer. Isn't it? Yes. Now next question that is question number two. Who is the writer of the given lines? Who is the writer of the given lines? Question number three. Whom is she referred to in the above lines? Who is she referred to in the above lines? Question number four. Why are the fruits and the trees silver? Why are the fruits and the trees silver? Can you recall the answer? The fruits and the trees are silver because of the moonlight. Okay, as the moon moves slowly and silently, everything below turns silver. That's why the fruit and the trees look silver. Okay, so you will write the answer. Next, we'll move on to question number two. Again, another reference to context. Write with an inverted commas. One by one, the casements catch. One by one, the casements catch. Question number one. What does the casements catch? What does the casements catch? The casements catch what? The sunlight. Okay. Hey, sorry, the moonlight. Okay. The casements catches the moonlight. One by one. Okay. Question number two. What happens as the moon moves? What happens as the moon moves? Question number three. What is the meaning of the word casement? What is the meaning of the word casement. I hope all of you know the meaning because earlier when I taught you this uh, poem, I already gave you the meanings. Okay. And if you 
forgot it then you can look it up into your dictionary okay now next we have number 3 write the last four lines of the poem silver along with the poet's name write the last four lines of the poem silver along with the poet's name so first you will write the heading that is silver then you will write the name of the poet and then you will write the last four lines okay next number four are the trees and fruits really silver in color are the trees and fruits really silver in color okay now next we are moving to the next exercise that is complete the sentences here I am giving you a line from the poem and the next line you have to write it down. And somewhere I am giving half of the line and the rest half you will write. Okay. So in this way you will complete the sentences. Number one. Couched in his kennel, comma, like a log, then dash. You will write the full sentence, the full line. Okay. Couched in his kennel, like a log, dash. Number two. Dash walks the night in her silver shoon. Walks the night in her silver shoon. Number three, from their shadowy dash of doves in a dash. From their shadowy dash of doves in a dash. Now that's all from silver. Now we'll straight forward. I mean straight on. Move towards singular and plural okay so first we'll do a quick recap that is a noun which is used for only one person or thing is said to be in the singular number or is known as singular noun a noun which is used for only one person or thing is said to be in the singular number or is known as singular noun example Girl, man, child, pen, table, chair, etc. Now, a noun which is used for more than one person or thing is said to be in the plural number or is known as plural, plural nouns. Okay, A noun which is used for more than one person or thing is said to be in the plural number or is known as plural nouns. Examples, girls, men, children, pens, tables, chairs, etc. Now next we will come across some rules that I have already told you. But since this is a revision, I am giving you a quick recap. Okay, Rule number one, most singular nouns form their plurals by adding s let's see the example see cow is a singular noun and then in plural we are adding s so cow is becoming cows c o w cow and in plural we are writing c o w s cows pencil pencils in the same way window windows b Bees. Rule number two nouns that ends in S, double S, X, SH, or CH form their plurals by adding ES to the singular. Now let's see some example. See the singular nouns box, brush, church, glass. See the Ending letter, the ending letter is of X, SH, CH, double S. So for plurals, we'll add ES, okay? So box will come under singular and for plural, we'll write boxes, B-O-X and we'll add ES, boxes. Brush, brushes. Church, churches. Glass, glasses. I hope it's clear to you children. Now we'll move on to the third rule. Rule number three. 
nouns that ends in y and the y has a consonant before it its plural is formed by changing y into i e s as let's see the example c f l y fly here before y there is l and l is a consonant so when we will change the word fly to plural we will remove the y and we will write i e s because before y there is a consonant only that's why that is the reason we will write i e s for the plural form okay see f l y fly for plural f l i e s flies l a d y lady d is a consonant so we will remove y and write i e s lady ladies family families spy spies next rule rule number 4 but if the noun ends in y and the y has a vowel before it its plural is formed by adding s to the singular previously what did we learn if there is a consonant before y we'll remove the y and we'll write i e s but now here before y we have vowels that is a e i o u they are known as vowels so before y there is o e a okay so we'll not remove y but instead we'll add s okay for the plurals see singular boy for plural it will change to boys b o y s we will not write b o i e s that is wrong okay so boy will change to boys monkey monkeys toy toys day days rule number 5 noun that ends in f or f e form their plurals by changing f or f e into v e s let's see the example calf c a l f so this f will get removed and we'll add v e s for the plurals now see knife k n i f e will remove both f and e and we'll add v e s so calf will change to calves knife will change to knives wife wives leaf leaves but the following nouns form their plurals by simply adding s to the singular you have to remember this okay will not remove f in this cases when there is chief so we will not write chiefs we will write chips okay c h i e f and then we will add s for plural gulf gulfs proof proofs roof roofs okay rule number 6 nouns that ends in o if they have a consonant before them generally form their plurals by adding es to the singular when a noun ends with o okay and before o there is a consonant i hope you all know what is a consonant that is for vowels a e i o u are vowels and other than this five letters the rest of the letters are known as consonants so buffalo c before o there is l tomato before o there is t cargo before o there is g and for hero before o there is r so this l t g r they all comes under consonant so when there is a consonant before o we will add es okay for buffalo it will become buffaloes b u w f a l o buffalo and we'll add es okay tomato tomatoes cargo cargoes hero heroes rule number 7 the following nouns form their plurals by a change of the inside vowel now see foot will totally change into fit but see the first letter f and the last letter t 
both are there only the inside vowels are getting changed okay inside words so foot is changing into feet man men mouse mice goose geese okay now rule number 8 the following nouns have the same form for the plural as for the singular so here the nouns will not get changed they will remain uh, remain the same see for singular we have ship for plural also ship there is no change fish fish deer deer dozen dozen okay now we'll move on to exercise so children please take out your copies and you have to write it down okay so write exercise 1 write the plural form of the following singular nouns write the heading exercise 1 write the plural form of the following singular nouns you will divide the page into two halves and you will write singular and you will write plural below singular you will write house family monkey loaf ox tooth sheep the answers to this what will happen i will not give you the answers you will write it on your own okay this is the revision i hope you all know the answers and so you will write it by yourself i repeat once again house family monkey loaf ox tooth and sheep next we have exercise 2 write the singular form of the following plural nouns now we'll do the opposite thing okay first i gave you the singular you have to write the plural okay now i'll give you the plurals and you will write the singulars okay so write exercise 2 write the singular form of the following plural nouns again you divide the page into two halves one side write singular and the other side write plural and write the words that i have given tomatoes under plural you will write okay tomatoes halves deer fairies mice men and boxes tomatoes halves deer fairies mice men boxes so you will write the answers okay next we have exercise 3 change the nouns in these sentences from singular to plural change the nouns in this sentences from singular to plural so the sentence is given in singular and the answer to this and number 1 number 2 all of this you will write in plural form okay one i'll do it for you and the rest you will do it on your own number 1 the bird known as parrot is usually green the bird known as parrot is usually green and the answer will be the birds the bird b i r d bird will change to birds b i r d s so the birds known as parrots p a w r, r o t s okay parrots r a r e r usually green so there are three changes bird will change to birds parrot will change to parrots and is will change to r so the answer is the birds known as parrots are usually green next number 2 the tomato in the basket has been used up the tomato in the basket has been used up number 3 that dog is very ferocious that dog is very ferocious number 4 the child is not able sorry the child is not yet able to walk the child is not yet able to walk number 
The girl on the slide is enjoying herself. The girl on the slide is enjoying herself. Okay, next exercise four. Change the nouns in these sentences from plural to singular. Change the nouns in these sentences from plural to singular. The previous one you changed from singular to plural. Now the sentences are given in plural form. You have to change it to singular nouns. Okay. So number one, these oxen are strong enough to plow. Four fields. These oxen are strong enough to plow four fields. And the answer to this is: This ox, T H I S. This ox is strong enough to plow a field. So there are many changes noted down. These, T H E S E. These will change to T H I S. This oxen will change to ox. R will change to is strong enough to plow. Four will change to a, uh, and fields will change to field. F I E L D. So the answer is this ox is strong enough to plow a field. Number two, all her saris are very expensive. All her saris are very expensive. Number three. The old woman were walking with their sticks. The old woman were walking with their sticks. All this you will write on your own. Okay. Number four, her sisters love to eat mangoes. Her sister love to eat mangoes. Number five, monkeys climb trees. Monkeys climb. trees so these four exercises are there for your revision work from singular and plural now we'll move on to the last topic that is articles yes what are articles a and the look at the picture there is a girl an orange the book okay So again, we'll do a quick recap of articles. Let's see what are articles. A, an, and the are called articles. An article is a word used before a noun to modify the noun. Articles define whether a noun is used in a specific context or in a general context the articles a an and the are categorized in different types as per their usage now when to use a or an children did you remember i hope yes but still i'll uh, do a quick revision okay if a word is beginning with a vowel sound i already told you what is a vowel sound A E I O U are vowels. So words starting with this sounds A E I O U are all vowel sound words. Okay. So if a word is beginning with a vowel sound, then an is used. Example: an ant, an enemy. Now another example I'll give you. if you have remembered i already gave you the same example once more i am giving you that is an r h o u r r but still we are writing an even though r starts with h we are writing an do you know why because the sound of r is of vowel here h is silent we are pronouncing r That's why we'll write and before are honest, honor, etc. Now we use a when any word begins with a consonant sound. So leaving the vowels that is a e i o u, the other letters that are left are called consonant. Okay, example: 
a boy, a horse. Now see the exception. That is a university, a one rupee note. See university. Even though it is starting with U, even the one is one rupee note is starting with O, we are writing a instead of an. So here, even though the words are beginning with vowel letters, we are writing a because the sound is of consonants. Now when do we use the? We use the before things that are one of a kind or unique. When we specify a particular thing, we use the. For example, the sun, the earth, the moon, the Ganga, the times of India, okay, etc. So all these are examples of a and and the. Now we'll straight on move to exercise one. Write down children, fill in the blanks with a and or the. Fill in the blanks with a and or the. Number one, dash girl sat in the park. Dash girl sat in the park. Number two, dash ant is near the sugar jar. Dash ant is near the sugar jar. Number three, dash Himalayas are in India. Dash Himalayas are in India. Number four, bring me dash red pen. Bring me dash red pen. Number five, there is dash tree in the park. There is dash tree in the park. Number six, look at dash rainbow. Look at dash rainbow. Number seven, he was dash honest man. He was dash honest man. Number eight, I saw dash owl in the tree. I saw dash owl in the tree. I hope all of you have written it down. Now, I'll move on to the next exercise. That is exercise 2. Rewrite the sentences using the correct articles. Rewrite the sentences using the correct articles. Here, the sentences are written with wrong articles. So, you have to correct it and write properly with the correct articles. Okay. Number one, I am eating a apple. So, I hope you all can understand what is the mistake. I will not tell you. So, you will write the answer. Okay. I am eating a apple is given. Number two, there is an table in my room. There is an table in my room. Number three, Take a umbrella with you. Take a umbrella with you. Number four. I have a pink lunch box. I have a pink lunch box. Number five. A octopus has eight arms. A octopus has eight arms. Next, exercise three. Fill in the blanks with a and or the to complete the paragraph. Fill in the blanks with a and or the to complete the paragraph. You will write the full paragraph, okay? And the answers you will write and underline. So, no, don't only write, not only write the answers, you will write the total thing, okay? You will copy down the paragraph and you will write the answers. So let's start. Dash bird is flying in dash sky. Full stop. It is dash blue bird. It has made dash nest in dash tree. In dash nest there is dash egg. Dash nest is in dash apple tree. Dash blue bird wants to eat dash apple. There is dash cat in the park and there is dash mouse 
in the park. The cat and dash mouse also want dash apple. Who will get dash apple? Question mark. And the paragraph ends here. So, I repeat once again. Dash bird is flying in dash sky. It is dash blue bird. It has made dash nest in dash tree. In dash nest, there is dash egg. Dash nest is in dash apple tree. Dash blue bird wants to eat dash apple. There is dash cat in the park and there is dash mouse in the park. The cat and dash mouse also want dash apple. Who will get dash apple? Question mark. And that's all for articles. So children, I hope you liked the class and enjoyed it very much. Uh, you will revise all these chapters. You will write the answers on your own. Okay. And that's all for today's class. Thank you and have a nice day.